now let us start about the topic called a simple interest and compound interest simple interest and the compound interest has been differed in a big way like compound interest is accumulated on the principal and as well as the interest but the simple interest is not like that if at all you are not paying the principal the same interest on the same interest rate you can pay for any n number of years the second point to be noted is the simple interest and the compound interest is the same for the first year and the third point to be noted is the compound interest changes every year according to the rate of interest given so let's start about the questions in four years a sum amounts to three times itself so let us assume the principal is 100 now it is accumulates to three times three into hundred is three hundred now hundred is the principal three hundred is the amount amount minus principal gives you interest and the interest is 200 now this 200 in how many years will the same sum become four times itself now the it is becoming three times itself in four years this 200 is becoming in four years now is saying is asking about four times so four times amount four times is 400 now 100 and 400 the change is 300 for 200 it is taking four years obviously for 100 it takes two years so extra two years four plus two six years so we know 200 by four or 300 by six is 50 percentage six years 50 percentage is our answer is asking about the rate of interest and for how many years is six years and 50 percent next year but the next question and how many years as a sum of money becomes three times same model 100 becomes 300 but here the thing is that 200 is the simple interest the rate of interest is given so what is the rate of interest 12.5 so what is 200 by 12.5 as we know 100 by 12.5 is 8 200 by 12.5 is 16 next question excellent model and this is how the application of the simple interest and compound interest be what annual installment will discharge a debt of 2070 rupees due in three years at 15 percent per annum simple interest as we all know simple interest is nothing but adding just the interest over there so 100 plus 15 gives you 115 at the end of the second year again this is 100 percent is about uh, at the end of the first year second year 115 third year it will be 115 again added it is 130 so how much is the total 345 percent if this 345 percent is there is this 345 percent is given what is to be cleared 2070 rupees but he is asking every year that is equally how much will you pay as an annual installment he is 100% so when 345 is 2070 100% is how much 36 is 18 45 6 is 270 1800 plus 270 is 2070 so it is 100 into 6 is 600 therefore what is your equal uh, installment that you need to pay 600 rupees next model now is into compound interest a sum of money doubles itself at a compound interest in nine years that means you invested 100 rupees now that 100 rupees is becoming double that is 200 if at all we example put in a bank 100 is becoming 200 in nine years in how many years will it become 16 times let us put the same 200 again in the bank since it is doubles it is 400 for the next nine years 400 let us put again in the same bank now it becomes 800 now 800 again in the same bank it becomes 1600 so this is nine years this is nine years this is nine years this is nine years so totally four nines there so totally it takes 36 years to get that 16 times again the same compound interest model the compound interest in a certain sum for the first two years is given 2520 and simple interest is given 2400 rupees find the respective values of the sum and the rate of interest this is an again excellent model application of both compound interest and simple interest the first thing that we all need to know is the basic the simple interest is the same for any n number of years so since it is for the first two years this 2400 is there the 2400 is for two years so divided by two you will get 1200 rupees in the first year 
and 1200 rupees in the second year and we know the second point the same simple interest is for the compound interest in the first year so it is the same 1200 but the total in the compound interest is 2520 so out of 2520 1200 is already there in the first year that means in the second year 2520 minus 1200 is 1320 so 1320 rupees is paid in the second year now we need to understand the third point the difference of the amount whatever is there that is 1320 minus 1200 is 120 this is nothing but the resultant whatever the rate of interest is on the previous compound interest that is 1200 so how much is that the rate of interest is 10 percent so it is 10 percent the only option with 10 percentage is the fourth option and that should be our answer now this is about the highly rated applicative kind of model of the both compound interest and as well as simple interest now there is a direct question what is the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest accrued on 12,000 rupees at 16 percent per annum for the first two years whenever it is there is a basic formula better to use the formula to save our time is compound interest in minus simple interest for the first two years is always equal to p into r by 100 whole square so this is how we can save the formula save the time actually p is 12,000 rupees r is 16 percent substitute 12,000 rupees r square is 16 into 16 divided by 100 into 100 so by cancellation 16 into 16 is 256 so he is asking about 256 into 12 256 into 12 is 2560 and 512 so somewhere around 3000 odd when you are cancelling all the zeros you have one zero left out so the decimal so it is 307.2 that is nothing but 16 into 16 into 12 is 3072 since there is a 10 denominator we need to have a decimal so it's 307.2 so the difference between their simple interest and the compound interest for the first two years is 307.2 rupees